Hi Aries, welcome back for your December reading. <clears throat> I've done a lot of meditation on all the zodiac signs and obviously as per last month's video. There has been some of us that have been using our energy a bit differently and I will be doing the readings next year slightly differently as well. <clears throat> From an aspect of healing, I can see that a lot of us that have done work, you know, there's sort of like this 50-50 scenario going on. And what's happening is some of us who have done work um, and, and feel that we are actually capable to physically deal with aspects that are coming towards us are further ahead in the game. Those of us who have blocks that can be chakra-related blocks, emotional-related blocks, blocks um, triggers coming up of us not owning our power what's happening is most of the zodiacs are going to get to a point where last month's videos will be relevant this month but on top of that a bit like sweeping a scenario under the carpet those things are going to come up as well as the energy that's coming through this month for you so last month was very much communication and home and that was around october and november those aspects are still going to be there in highlight as well as um, the energies of nostalgia, um, the finalisation of chapters, coming to a sense of resolve or making a decision connected to what you vibrationally feel is correct for you. Now, I do feel some trigger points coming up for you guys. You have had an interesting year. That would be an understatement. Um, look, a lot of people have placed their opinion on you. Some of what has been going on with you has also been, I'll keep that one, has also been directly connected to your frustration, connected to your family. And external, it can be work colleagues, um, you've been doing a lot of processing. So the external work has been there to trigger you. But you're looking at it from a negative standpoint. It's been there to trigger you to bring out the things that have been suppressed inside you. Now, how you use that energy is completely up to you. If you're fighting against it and trying to act like you have this under control, then what's going to happen is you're going to suppress that energy. And what is coming up in a sense of a trigger, if you're directly dealing with it in an energetic way that is aggravated, you're not going to have the best out of the given situation. And it's not to say that you know, the darkness that comes out is not an aspect of purging. It physically is. <clears throat> but if you're trying to sweep it under the carpet to deal with later, like everything is just going to magically, you know, uh, kind of come to a better place. Yes, it can, but maybe no, it won't. Because it might be a trigger directly connected to you that you need to own your power and start verbalising aspects of how you've been feeling about situations. I do actually feel there are some people in your life that are completely in the dark to your truth. Now, some of it you have tiptoed around the issue. Um, and people have, I see Chinese whispers. I see gossip. And I see uh, power struggles connected to what people are wanting you to do. This has energetically um, caused different things coming up in your life. It has caused you to feel you need to be secretive. Excuse me. It's also caused you to feel judged um, and frustrated because you intend to make decisions but they're going to be made on your clock, not on other people's. But because people have been pressing you and you haven't been owning your power, what's now happening is you're almost despite yourself not making decisions based on the fact that you feel people are interfering. But you're missing the point. Some decisions have been overdue to be made and need to be addressed as soon as possible because it's actually preventing the forward motion in your physical life and you authentically coming to a place where you are being yourself without actually asking permission from other people. 
Now, a lot of you are focusing on other things aside from your sense of spiritual self. Now, when I'm talking about that, it doesn't have to be that you're religious or that, you know, you have that mindset. It's more what you vibrationally feel is correct for you. So because of external scenarios going on, you've physically been avoiding um, dealing with certain confrontations and aspects. Now, having outbursts and scenarios like that are natural around this time, and this might have been going on for, for quite some time, where you've naturally been very controlled, and then, you know, the verbal communication will come out because you've tolerated too much. Now, it's not that your truth isn't relevant, but if you haven't educated the areas in your life to this scenario of your truth, then when this does come out, it's not going to have a positive outcome because they have been none the wiser of how you've vibrationally been feeling. And it may be the way your family's directly relating to you. They are not completely respecting you, but because they are in the dark, they're none the wiser of your vibration of how you're feeling. For others, it could be opinions about a physical partnership, one that you're assessing, one that you're currently in, or one that you're working on, and external people are placing their opinion onto you connected to what they think you should be doing, how they visually see the thing. And because you're not actually speaking to these people in relation to this subject because you feel it's your bubble, um, they're now projecting onto you an aspect of what you already knew they would do. Now you're actually manifesting that scenario. So when they're doing that, it's actually something you have physically manifested because it's, it's what you feel the outcome's always going to be. But you need to take the power where you do have power in the situation. And if you then know that an outcome is gonna be that sort of scenario, then maybe if you can try attacking it from a different angle, you can physically get a better outcome out of the scenario. Now, I do feel for some of you, there is a person who is in limbo at the moment. <clears throat> and because you have a very heavy workload, um, or you're focusing on work to take your mind off scenarios that are going on in life at an emotional level. I do feel for a lot of you, there has been a dynamic connected to a relationship. Now, for some of you, this will be a past tense relationship you have in assessment where you haven't completely made the leap of faith that you may have been working with, communicating and dealing with, but haven't made the final cementing of that foundation. For others of you, it might be a connection to a person who is no longer with you and you're wanting to move forward in your life, but people are placing their opinions on you connected to what they think you should be doing with your life. Again, you need to stand your ground and you need to come to that place where you're saying, who I was yesterday is not who I am today and this is who I am today and introduce yourself because how are they going to know the new you when this year has really been the number one year all about breaking the foundations down and rebuilding ourselves to who we are today not who we were yesterday. Assessments from the past have come up as well so this can be anything to do with you changing your employment or doing something differently in your workplace where it fits in your life correctly. It can be reassessing relationships, old ones coming back on the table. And, you know, for new ones, new ones can be coming into people's lives in a number one year. But what you'll find is you'll need to deal directly with old situations prior. Um, so they will assist you in bringing trigger points out from the past in order to be vibrationally ready with that firm foundation. Now, more relationships will be solid in 2018, and that's because a lot of us, from 2016, that there was a lot of suppression, and it was a very, very heavy energy, really feeling like possibilities and potentials weren't there. Financially speaking, for a lot of people, there would have been blocks connected to that. 2017 has been about majorly a tower event, but it not happening at one given point in one given month. It happening consistently through the year where we have had to reassess our home, our love life, our workplace, our friendships, 
um, spiritually who we are to the core and where we want to be in life. And this is moving us forward to where we need to be with that firm foundation in 2018. Now, as I said before, what you will find is if you have not done the work and some of it you're feeling vibrationally ill-prepared to deal with, some of it will stem through to, for you guys and any zodiac sign through into the new year and we really don't want to be doing that because then you're a little bit further behind so the work that you will need to do because i am sensing a sense of urgency connected to us being ready and prepared i do feel at a dynamic level there will be a world event that will happen that will take us by surprise but prior to that to the core we need to be vibrationally ready because it is boding better in 2018 now on the money front i've pulled the general cards for you in your general area now i have money family and general okay look on the money front i feel it's working very well for you but what's happening is <clears throat> you're spending too much time working if your workplace is fine and your money is fine, where else is suffering? Because at the moment I'm feeling as though what you're doing is fantastic and the energy you're putting into your work life is fantastic. If you have not got a job and you're working towards it, it's boding incredibly well. I do feel as though a lot of your energy and the way in which you process is through your work. So it might be through you manifesting or focusing on other things other than the dynamics that are physically going on for you. So there'll be a given area in your life that you will put more energy into. Um, and it can be that you feel that the only way a person will relate to you is if you're successful. And this might be a dream you had aspired to achieve. And now you're sort of saying, well, I've arrived here, but... I've arrived alone, if that makes sense. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you're alone. It sort of feels as though you did achieve it and you can achieve it and you can maintain it, but it's not who you are to the core. You are worth more than money um, and people don't look at that component. Uh, and you do need to be cautious because this can be what you are going to educate others on. Now, a good work ethic is positive. Um, co-creation of, of manifestation of your hopes and dreams is positive as well but we do hand this down to generations and we don't want them to physically feel that that in a whole is the spiritual core of who we are and what we are defined by so financially you're always protected you're a very strong person and you're able to achieve those dreams your creativity and your mindfulness connected to your detail in techniques in using it towards your work and your money manifestation is perfect. And around hurdles, you're able to move through them and adversity. But you need to, in a sense, let go of the control issues with what's happening with money because money does come and go. So go with the flow, enjoy the abundance, but try not to just focus on work. There are other areas I'm hearing you need to focus on. Now, I will pull chakra cards connected to that because I feel that's quite a heavy energy. It's a positive energy, but it's an energy where it feels you're putting too much effort in and not enough into other areas of your life. You need to follow your gut directly connected to why this is happening and that's going to be your answer. Uh, it might be that you feel you need to be strong and money equals strength. S stem back in your mind to where this began and deal with that core memory. That's going to be your healing and it will release you. In your family, you're wanting a sense of freedom. And in some shape or form, it might be freedom of speech, freedom of your opinion, or freedom from the restraints of the given situation. Some of your dreams aren't being met within the family. So you need to address the reasons why and how you can rectify this situation. Some of it you're keeping very quiet because you're waiting on information because you haven't had the time to assess these situations because you've been spending too much time at work. 
or working in different areas. It could be working on your aspect of abundance um, and your self-esteem um, or any other area connected to you manifesting something into fruition. It might be working too hard on the home, um, working too hard in general uh, or helping people in general. This could be helping your family, which is actually hindering you having anything spiritual that you're actually vibrationally wanting now in your general life it's asking you to stop so you're doing too much you're doing too much and you're not actually having any downtime and i feel you're going to have a moment where you're going to go away and physically be still so that you can actually process this aspect it will be around a celebration that you get time to ground yourself. And I do feel a connection to a flower and a person having passed over. Um, you're also being asked to light a candle in memory of this person and let them guide you connected to your blocks of what's going on right now. Now your intuition and your third eye will be open, connected to this. And it's going to give you the clarity because whatever is really very heavy in the month of December for you, anything that comes up in a trigger point you need to trust because the information is going to come through your third eye. Uh, it may be that you're a very visual person and that intuitively speaking you have psychic abilities and they come through in your dreams or visions or synchronicities. where they all go <clears throat> singles I'm trying to be ever so comfortable I've left the videos till the last minute the universe must have it in for me at the moment <laughs> but I'm feeling very peaceful today I'm in my zone I've done my meditation cards in the new year. <clears throat> hmm. You guys have a lot of hurts from the past coming up. Now I do feel, you know, some of what you're wanting to do for singles, um, you've placed on hold. Now it's like you're putting a brave face on and it's like you're physically acting like everything's okay. I do feel for 50% of you, you are thinking about somebody in particular. Now, it might be that your family can see the scenario and they're saying to you, don't be so silly, move on. Or it might be that they're saying, what are you doing? And despite them, you're physically not making communication connected to this. You need to ask why you're doing that because you're actually hindering it and you're risking it. Um, it's something you shouldn't be playing with. So if you do feel vibrationally you want to communicate with someone, you actually need to not waste your time and physically do that because it could hinder the forward motion. Hinder it to the point where you could lose that opportunity and it does feel it's at a pivotal point right now. So if you're feeling the need to make communication but despite your family or friends or their opinions, you're physically not doing that, you're needing to do that ASAP before Christmas uh, because by Christmas they're looking at you and they're shaking their head thinking, what are you doing? Now, it can be that disputes have occurred, but I do feel for some of you this is an older energy where it's a past tense relationship and it's something that has unresolved issues connected to it. You either need to A, make peace with the situation and make communication with this person or if you were waiting on making a decision, you need to make your decision. And I do feel you are wanting to go more in the favour of communicating with the person and reconciling with this person. And I do feel you're... Being stubborn. We'll see what additional energy is coming through, but that is an energy that has been coming through very strongly.
Okay. Okay, there are people around you that are being quite harsh towards you. It's it's really cheesing you off. Okay, what you put out is what you're going to get back. So be very careful energetically what you're doing. <clears throat> you do see the potential in this scenario. And by meditating and communicating and owning your power, it's going to bode better. Intuitively speaking, your third eye, as I said, is open. And you do have an opportunity to get the clarity on the situation and actually act on it correctly. Try not to let outside influences impact your decision. You need to make the decision. This can be connected to a new person who's coming in or what you want to do with your life. It might be that you physically are okay with being single and people are stating you're not. You will vibrationally know what's correct for you and where you are in this cycle. You do feel you're in limbo and you are going with the flow. Something you need to let go of and it might be a grudge. It might be a physical person. <clears throat> it might be a past tense scenario that you just haven't let go of that you need to let go of. You're going to need to do that work. Okay, there is going to be a change once you do that. So by doing that, there will be forward motion. Something hasn't ended and it is going to be a change for the better. So you need to have faith in the scenario. You have all the tools and you have the courage to deal with this given situation. So try not to delay it um, because I do feel, okay, for some of you, this might be connected to October. This might be a person who is born in October. So it might be a Libran or yeah um there and this could be a family member who's upset you this could be a person that you had a connection with um but something connected to october i'm hearing now you're trying to be independent um and that's fine maybe independently you're wanting to make a decision about something you're currently dealing with in your romantic life Maybe you're wanting to have independence and you're wanting to become grounded where you have strength, where you can finally be proud of yourself for who you are, moving through that adversity. But the emotional aspect of the situation needs to be dealt with as well. Now, around you, you have people that are being quite selfish connected to what they think is owed to them. So it might be that you have family members that are telling you they want money and you owe them. Or it might be a person from the past that you do owe an apology to or that you owe an explanation to as to what way you're going. They're actually understanding that a situation needed to end. So it might be you physically feeling that or external people feeling this. You know, that a cycle needed to end. This can be that dynamics of people's opinions are directly impacting you and you're being far too fair connected to the way they're speaking to you. You're going to have to follow your gut connected to this and some sense of clarity isn't there. It's like you're hoping for a solution. Um can be a Capricorn energy coming through and it's not that this is a Capricorn energy I just saw Capricorn card flash in my mind um, it can be something that you were quite invested in or addicted to this could be a person um, but you're wanting clarity so again it could be a Cancerian but what I'm feeling is you're still waiting on the aspect of clarity connected to this, but the clarity actually is inside you. So it may be at a full moon, you're going to physically receive that clarity upon meditation, but you need to really ground yourself and make your decision because it's actually hindering other aspects of your life and your health. Okay, you do know what is going to happen, but you might be a bit too critical connected to this. So you might need to get a third person's um, kind of perspective or look at it from an outsider's point of view. You are overwhelmed by what is going on. Um, and you're not, I, for a lot of us, I do feel that Christmas and New Year is going to be different. I do feel a lot of movement and wake up calls, sorry if the camera's moving, um, is directly connected to Christmas. And that is because it's going to give us a light bulb moment.
Okay. Aspects of what transpired or what's going to is gossip connected to what you're wanting to move towards. Also, some people are being very cruel connected to what you're wanting. But there is going to be movement connected to this and there is going to be an offer. So it's either from you or this other person who you're actually considering or someone who's coming towards you. Your ego will block you though. So don't be too proud to actually say, let's give this a try. Yes, I was wrong. Yes, you were wrong. Don't even talk about it. If you need to, yes, do. But otherwise, connect the dots and accept it for what it is now. And if you... <clears throat> maybe you don't see eye to eye maybe the communication needs to be open more maybe you need to come to a place where being too proud pride comes before a fall you will be excited that this is coming through and it will be like you knew but yet the vibration you were having for so long was very heavy so don't be too cocky connected to this because you will be humbled there will be a unity between you and another person and it will feel very calm. But I do feel this is after Christmas. I do feel you're going to have a bit of stubborn energy. But that's not necessarily bad. It can be that you're choosing to do that because you have not got the final piece of that puzzle. So if that's what you're being drawn to do, so be it. Okay, I'm going to pick you another chakra cup for singles and then I'll go into the couples reading. Emotionally speaking, you're out of balance. So it's because you can either be looking at life as the glass is half full or the glass has potential to be filled up. So again, I do feel this is around a celebration season. <clears throat> and I do feel you're not communicating with someone because my throat honestly has been fine and all of a sudden it's come through again. Emotionally speaking, by you communicating and being open at an emotional level i do feel that it's going to flow and your chakra is going to be balanced but i do feel family related dynamics need to be healed i do for some of you feel a male who is a key issue in your life this could be from the past or your childhood a father a brother or someone who is a male who impacted your life in some shape or form so this could have been a partner but i'm feeling more of an older natured person directly connected to a block with you couples my legs falling asleep g oh the headaches i can feel headaches for you guys headaches 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 feel as though there's family members and squabbles who <clears throat> okay where are you going to go how things are going to be what their opinion are of things it just feels like squabbles back and forward i feel you're hearing things more through the grapevine although vibrationally you already know what their opinions are so it's nothing you don't know <laughs> it does frustrate you however Okay, your energy is you need to keep going. You need to not give up. You follow your vibration of you, of what you think is correct. But I do see you being very cross towards a family member. And it might be a few, but directly someone who is being more verbal, um, you're going to set them in their place. And it might be that they're not coming from a place of hate or jealousy or control but a place of fear so compassionately try to address that situation but again the warning is i do feel you need to address these scenarios prior to christmas and new year so ground yourself assess the situation vibrationally if you've got the intuition connected to what you're feeling you need to go and actually speak to the person directly prior to a social event this could be a Christmas party at work. It could be actually just Christmas in general, uh, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. It feels connected to an event. It might be a birthday. It feels a gathering as such and a person coming and you needing to physically ground and cement your family 
um, so that this welcome can come. Because it's not directly connected to anyone else. It's directly connected to you and a family member. Okay, an aspect of sadness of the past you've actually come to terms with, but I don't think other people have. So I think that's where the trigger point is going to come from. Okay, your partner is going to be defending themselves. So be aware of this. If there's any attack coming from external family members, this person won't tolerate it. So please deal with it ahead of time to avoid that aspect because it will change the dynamic. Their wishes in their minds are coming true and they feel very happy with you. They feel, feel very grounded. And between you, the energy is there's great success and there's time of positive change. So no matter what the external is feeling, I very much do feel a bubble around the both of you where you're in your la-la land and everything is boding very well and you're not going to let anyone hinder it. To you, this is what you feel life should be like, but people are going to need time to catch up. You can see the bigger picture. They physically are not right now. They're still healing. Okay, in an aspect, you look at it, and when you see the way they're acting and reacting, you feel trapped, but you're not. You can own your power, and if they don't vibrationally move with your flow, move away from them to alleviate the situation. If this means you've got to go off solo, so be it. And don't feel guilty. The sand will settle. Okay, they're expecting the best. Um, and that's because they know who they are to the core. They're very grounded people. Uh, they're, very, they're very calm, connected to how they expect people to treat them. So if they're not treated that way, it will not remotely affect them. They will defend themselves and they will directly not even wake up the next day like it bothers them it's like it never happened okay both of you work very well together this can be that you have an idea in mind to work with a business or to do something um, they are very business minded they also may have some money behind them but they feel directly connected to an aspect of intelligence so the way they handle situations and can manifest things in their life is very positive. Uh, people may take their attitude to be very, I wouldn't say, cocky. Uh, but they're not. They're very grounded. They're very, very grounded individuals. But people are taking, people are intimidated by them. That's why they're taking that energy incorrectly. They're a very playful person. And they're creating that playfulness. You know to the core that no one is deceiving anyone, that you're being very, very open with what's going on, but people don't like that. Okay, you are going to need to heal family issues, but it takes two to tango. So unless they're working with you, it's not going to change. The laws of attraction are at play here. So they're thinking you don't have chemistry, um, but it's a different relationship. It's, it's different than what they're used to. So the way they're seeing it is very different. You know, it's building. So what might not be there is growing and it is building fast and you can see the potential. You may not see it right away, but it is moving forward. And it's because you can see that this could be the one and there is a lot of like romance, romance feelings and a connection here. <clears throat> this let me chain into that now it's for some of you this isn't due to a separation that you're with this person for some of you it's that you didn't separate for some of you it might be somebody coming back from the past um it it just feels like people are looking at it incorrectly Okay, Pete, you're not feeling safe because of the way other people are directly communicating with you, but you do have passion and your career and money and everything is going very, very nicely. It's actually a bit of jealousy, but it's external dynamics. It's not directly you. 
I'll pull a chakra. Okay, I do feel you will have contact from somebody from the past. Now, this could be from overseas. But you're really going to have to take a stand when it comes to family, I feel. of forgiveness has not come through so this is from your family and it might be for yourself so if you had a wish and it didn't come true forgive yourself for that and move forward if in some shape or form family is not forgiving you for deciding to do something forgive them for being that way and let that go so you break that cycle because there is love and that is love to do that to understand that maybe some sometimes they're not meaning to be that way. It's an aspect of ignorance. Your chakras are very balanced, um, but they're not taking the responsibility for their side. Maybe they're thinking you're not being responsible. This could be due to age. It could be due to you taking a leap of faith. It could be due to them feeling you need to explain yourself to them. Don't be doing that. Anyway, I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you're wanting an emergency reading, there's the link directly below. If on the website there's no openings on a particular day, email me. We can tee it up and we will talk. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the new year. Bye.